It could be worse. Yeah. yeah, I think it could be a lot worse. You got kind of a raw deal when your dad passed away. Imagine having a father who was one of Hollywood's most affluent producers, only to discover that his sudden passing comes with an unexpected twist in his will. Tori Spelling's inheritance has frequently made headlines, but the reality of her financial journey is far more complex than it appears. How much did Aaron Spelling really leave behind, and what effect did it have on Tori's life and career? Join us as we delve into the truth behind the headlines, exploring the twists and turns of Tori Spelling's inheritance and its influence on her career and personal life. But before we delve right into these details, let's trace it back to Tori Spelling's life before her father's death. Born into fame and wealth, Tori Spelling's privileged early life. If you grew up in the 1990s, you likely recognize Tori Spelling. Her face was a regular on TV screens in the 90s and early 2000s, thanks to her famous role as Donna Martin in the hit show Beverly Hills, 90210. This show quickly made her a household name. However, Tori's path to stardom seemed almost inevitable, as she was one of Hollywood's most famous Nepo babies. Tori was born into the home of Aaron and Candy Spelling on May 16, 1973. It's easy to say that Tori Spelling came from Hollywood royalty. Her father, Aaron Spelling, was the legendary Hollywood mogul. He was a legendary producer known for creating hits like Charmed, Charlie's Angels, and, of course, Beverly Hills, 90210. Aaron's prolific work earned him the record for the most TV series produced in American history, bringing both fame and a massive fortune. By the time Tori was born, she was already living a privileged life, thanks to her father's relentless success. Tori Spelling and her younger brother Randy were born into a life of luxury, thanks to their father's immense wealth. With Aaron and Candy Spelling as their parents, they were given everything they could ever want, even the impossible. Tori fondly recalled a Christmas when her parents had fresh snow brought into their garden, a rare sight in sunny Los Angeles. Her parents were known for going all out for every occasion, from holidays to birthdays. But despite the opulence, there were hidden troubles beneath the shiny surface of their wealthy life. Tori was a total daddy's girl. As the eldest daughter, Tori Spelling received plenty of attention from her father, despite his busy schedule. He always made time for her. In her autobiography storytelling, Tori mentioned that her dad even told her he loved her more than her mother, Candy. This favoritism caused tension in Tori's relationship with her mother. Even as a child, Tori felt uncomfortable, scrutinized, and wary around Candy. While Tori has never shared specific details, it seems her mother often talked down to and criticized her. This led to growing tension between them as Tori got older. Despite the tension with her mother at home, Tori Spelling grew up surrounded by other Nepo babies and Hollywood celebrities. Naturally, she attended the best private schools in Los Angeles. Interestingly, Tori briefly attended Beverly Hills High School before transferring to Harvard Westlake one of the most prestigious private schools in the area. She graduated in 1991, just as her Beverly Hills 90210 character was becoming more popular. By the time she graduated, her family had moved into an even more luxurious home, the manor. Aaron and Candy Spelling built their Beverly Hills estate on a prime plot, once owned by Bing Crosby in the late 1980s. It became known as the second largest home in Los Angeles, measuring 56,000 square feet. Tori grew up in this lavish home and even named it The Manor. The name stuck, even though the Spelling family no longer owns it. When the house was finished, Tori was 17 and lived there for about two years. Despite the manor's grandeur, Tori admitted that she never truly felt at home or comfortable there. Beyond Beverly Hill 90210, what was Tori's acting career like and why does her inheritance make headlines? Keep watching to find out. Tori's acting career. Given that Tori's father was a hugely successful producer, it's no surprise that she was drawn to performing at a young age. Never one to cut corners, Aaron enrolled Tori in acting classes when she was just six years old. Soon after, she started landing small roles in her dad's TV shows, appearing in popular programs like Fantasy Island, The Love Boat, and TJ Hooker. While some believed Tori lacked exceptional acting talent, her father clearly wanted her to be happy. With his significant power and influence, it's likely that Aaron used his connections to help Tori in her career. She then landed a role in her biggest role yet, as Donna Martin in the hit show, Beverly Hills, 
9-0-2-10. It's unclear whether Aaron Spelling helped Tory land the role of Donna Martin on Beverly Hills, 9-0-2-10. But as an adult, Tori learned that her father was the one who initially pushed for her character to be chaste and abstinent. Although Aaron worked behind the scenes to influence aspects of her role, it's known that Donna was seen as a kind, level-headed woman who stayed single until season seven. Tori was fine with this portrayal, believing it helped teenagers relate to the show. What she didn't realize was that her dad was behind this storyline, trying to protect her reputation from the shadows. Another character that got Tori some recognition would be her playful cameo in Scream 2. It was one of her first self-referential roles, where she played a fictionalized version of herself as Sidney Prescott. This cameo stands out as one of her most memorable performances. For her role, Tori even received a Razzie nomination for Worst New Star. Although it was meant as a joke, she didn't seem too offended by it. Fortunately or unfortunately, she didn't win the Razzie, but being nominated was still a notable achievement. Although Tori was single for seven seasons on Beverly Hills 90210, her real life was a stark contrast to this. Keep watching to know more. On set romance, in Beverly Hills 90210, it's no surprise that several cast members dated, given how young and attractive they all were. Although Tori Spelling and her co-stars kept their relationships private during the show, they've shared some details over the years. Tori had a flirtation with Brian Austin Green, her on-screen love interest, and admitted to a brief kiss with the late Luke Perry. She also had a discreet relationship with Jason Priestley. During the early 90s, Tori was involved in a significant but troubled relationship with actor Nick Salles. Despite the attention and fame from the show, Nick was verbally abusive, calling Tori ugly. He did this because he was aware that despite being on a popular TV show, Tori struggled with insecurities. Tori Spelling struggled with low self-esteem as a teenager. She often felt she wasn't attractive, famous, or talented enough. A stark contrast to her character on Beverly Hills, 90210, who seemed to have it all, great clothes, fame, and success. Knowing all this, Nick would usually exploit her insecurities to his advantage. Neither Tori's parents nor her co-stars, including Luke Perry, who was very supportive and protective of Tori, liked Nick. Fortunately, Tori managed to end the relationship and move on to more positive experiences. Her role on Beverly Hills 90210 got Tori rich early enough. How did she manage her finances? Let's find out. The rumbling of financial troubles. For the first time in her life, Tori Spelling experienced financial independence through her role on Beverly Hills 90210. As she realized her earnings, she moved out of the manor and lived on her own. In a 2008 interview, Tori mentioned, I didn't need my parents for anything because I had a hit TV series. However, this newfound financial freedom led to serious problems. Soon, 90210 ended in 2000, and Tori's income dried up. She had been living extravagantly, often charging over $50,000 on shopping sprees. This period of financial trouble was just the beginning of Tori's ongoing money issues, keeping watching to find out more. Tori and Charlie's Affair Fans of Tori Spelling know about her rocky and very public relationship with her now ex-husband, Dean McDermott. However, they first met in 2005 while filming the Lifetime movie, Mind Over Murder, in Canada. Tori didn't realize what she was getting into. They fell for each other right away, but there was a complication. Tori was married to Charlie Shanayan at the time, and Dean was also married. Despite their existing commitments, Tori and Dean were drawn to each other and couldn't resist their feelings. As Tori and Dean spent more time together on the set of Mind Over Murder, their attraction grew stronger. In her 2008 autobiography, Tori revealed that one night after having a few drinks at a pub, they gave in to their feelings. Despite knowing it was wrong and facing judgment for their actions, they couldn't ignore their emotions. Tori admitted she never regretted what happened, even though it highlighted serious issues in her marriage. Both decided to end their marriages to be together after that night. But the most outrageous part of the whole scandal is how she chose to let Charlie find out. Finding out about a partner's infidelity is never easy, but Charlie Shanayan's experience was especially painful. In a 2007 interview with GQ, he revealed that he discovered Tori's affair through a paparazzi photo in the National Enquirer. Learning about a spouse's cheating from a tabloid was a devastating blow and Charlie was understandably furious. After their divorce, 
Tori formally ended her relationship with Charlie in a therapist's office, which only added to the hurt. As she got older, Tori came to realize how poorly she had treated Charlie and sought his forgiveness. New beginnings, an elopement to Fiji. Tori and Dean eloped in Fiji less than a year after meeting. While a private island wedding sounds romantic, their quick marriage likely had practical motives. Tori had been separated from her ex-husband, Charlie, for only a few months, and Dean had just finalized his divorce from Mary Jo Eustace. Their rushed wedding on May 7, 2006, showed they were starting their relationship under difficult circumstances, with many news outlets scrutinizing their hasty decisions, and things were about to get even more challenging for them. Tori's swift divorce and secretive elopement with Dean McDermott did not sit well with her parents, Aaron and Candy Spelling. While they continued to support their daughter, they were troubled by how Tori had essentially left her husband for someone else. This scandalous situation caused a rift between Tori and her parents, leaving them somewhat estranged after the wedding. Candy, though never publicly outspoken about her feelings, seemed to have reservations about Dean McDermott. She was cautious and not particularly fond of Tori's new husband, a sentiment that was not openly acknowledged. In fact, Tori had not visited her parents in months, further straining their relationship. Tragically, a few weeks before her father's death, Tori made the decision to visit him for the first time in a long while, marking a poignant moment of reconciliation amidst the turmoil. Tori's childbirth experience. Tori and Dean had five children in total. They had their first child, Liam Aaron, in 2007. Tori was thrilled, though the birth was challenging. She had a C-section, but both she and Liam were healthy and happy. Liam's early days were featured on their reality show, Tori and Dean, Home Sweet Hollywood, which was being filmed while Tori was pregnant. The couple shared many details about their new life and struggles as first-time parents. Like many reality shows of that time, their new family and Liam's adorable baby moments quickly won over fans. Tori welcomed her second child, a daughter named Stella, a little over a year after Liam. Naming their new baby was important to Tori, as she had a special connection to the name. She was a fan of Charles Dickens' Great Expectations and liked the name Estella, one of the book's main characters. Dean suggested shortening it to Stella, which Tori loved. They also chose the middle name Doreen to honor Dean's mother, who had passed away. In 2011, Tori and Dean welcomed their third child, a daughter named Hattie Margaret. They had kept Hattie's gender a secret until birth and were surprised when she turned out to be a girl, despite Tori's feeling that the baby would be a boy. They were thrilled with the arrival of their daughter. Born in October, Hattie's birthday coincides with Tori's favorite season, so she makes the most of Halloween-themed celebrations for her. Hattie has also developed a taste for horror films, although she's still a few years away from seeing her mother in Scream 2. In 2012, Tori was expecting her fourth child, but the pregnancy was challenging. She was diagnosed with placenta previa, a serious condition that can cause severe complications. Tori was placed on bed rest for the remainder of her pregnancy and faced several frightening moments. Thankfully, Finn was born via C-section, despite being premature, and the delivery went well. However, shortly after Finn's birth, Tori required emergency surgery, adding to the stress. Though her health issues were resolved quickly, Tori initially vowed that Finn would be her last child. Despite this, she and Dean later had one more child. Keep watching to find out under what circumstances. Cheating scandal fallout. The holidays are meant to be a time of joy and togetherness with loved ones, but Tori Spelling's December 2013 was overshadowed by heartbreak. Earlier that month, Tori was faced with the painful reality that her husband, Dean McDermott, had been unfaithful. While Tori was focused on creating festive memories with their children, news broke that Dean had cheated on her. On December 6th, Dean met Emily Goodhand during a publicity tour for his show Chopped Canada. Their affair quickly came to light when Emily revealed their intimate encounter to U.S. Weekly. This revelation cast a dark cloud over what should have been a season of celebration and family. Once Dean's affair was exposed, it became a major media sensation. In true Hollywood fashion, Dean checked into a rehab facility to address his issues with physical touch. Despite the public scandal, Tori remained focused on finding the best solution for their four children. A source close to Tori revealed that she was determined not to raise her kids alone and wished the situation had never happened. 
though she still hoped to stay married to Dean. Fortunately, Dean was also willing to work on their relationship. After his rehab, they began attending couples counseling to rebuild their marriage. Now, let's delve into the death of Aaron and the complexities it brought about. Aaron Spelling's death and the complexities of Tori's inheritance. Aaron Spelling died on June 23, 2006. His death was sudden, just over a month after Tori's elopement. He passed away at his sprawling Los Angeles estate, the manor, due to complications from a stroke. While Candy was by Aaron's side, Tori and Dean were still in Canada. Tori announced that she and Dean would return to Los Angeles to be with her family during this difficult time. The tabloids quickly began spreading rumors about dramatic family tensions and strained dynamics. Although Tori's brother Randy denied these claims, the truth behind the rumors remains uncertain, leaving room for speculation about the family's real state of affairs. When Aaron Spelling passed away in 2006, his net worth was estimated at $600 million. Given the vast fortune, it was no surprise that tabloids quickly began speculating about the inheritance that Tori and her brother Randy would receive. The gossip magazines eventually revealed that despite the enormous estate, Tori and Randy each received only $800,000. While this sum is substantial by most standards, it is barely 2% of Aaron's immense wealth. The remainder of his fortune was reportedly left to Candy, Tori's mother. There was speculation about the will since his estate plan was changed two months before he died. This was interesting because Alzheimer's disease was listed as a contributing factor on his death certificate. But Tori said that she met with her father before he died, and he sincerely believed that $800,000 was enough for Tori to be set for life. She feels her father didn't appreciate the value of money, even though he had so much of it. Despite the small inheritances left to Tori and Randy, in comparison to the size of Spelling's estate, neither Tori nor Randy filed a court action to contest the will or trust after Aaron Spelling died. Reportedly, the estate planning documents included a no contest clause, which did allow them to. Instead of fighting in court, Tori and Randy have both said they were forced to learn how to pay their own way and adapt to a much more modest lifestyle than they previously enjoyed. This distribution led to further speculation and discussion about the family dynamics and the reasons behind the inheritance decisions. When asked about it in the Daily Mail, Tori's now ex-husband elaborated on Aaron Spelling's decision. He said, From what I understand, his hope was that it would bring Tori closer to her mom because it would require a connection between them. What troubled Tori the most was the fact that her mother, who she had a strained relationship with is now the sole owner of more than 95% of her father's properties. The implication of control her mother scared her. Was she wrong? Was her mother of any help to her later on? Let's find out. Family matters. Tori and Candy Spelling had not had the best relationship. Although nothing had been said officially, it seemed like Candy had her reservations about her daughter. However, Candy Spelling, an open letter to Tori, which she posted on her website intensified their already strained relationship. In the letter, Candy mentioned that she hadn't yet met her granddaughter Stella, who was born in 2008. She expressed a desire to connect with Tori and her family, wishing for a normal family relationship. Tori responded, claiming it was false to suggest she was neglecting her mother. She argued that Candy knew how to reach her and could make an effort to see her grandkids if she wanted to. In September 2022, Tori made an effort to repair her relationship with her mother by attending Candy Spelling's 77th birthday party. Family friend Josh Flagg helped organize the event and made sure Tori felt welcomed. Tori shared that she and her mother had a positive connection during the celebration. The birthday gathering helped strengthen their bond and prompted Tori to reflect on the importance of family values. Despite the challenges that family relationships can bring, Tori realized that it's better to address disagreements and work on mending relationships rather than letting them fester. Candy was not the only family member who had bad blood with Tori. Tori was also not on speaking terms with her brother, Randy Spelling. Randy had since left the Hollywood life, although he wasn't really into it in the first place. After his father's death, he chose to settle in Portland, Oregon, where he now works as a life coach, though he occasionally travels to Los Angeles for business. Unfortunately, Tori and Randy's relationship has been strained by family conflicts since their father's death, and they have become distant. After reconnecting with her mother, 
Tori is also focusing on strengthening her relationship with her brother, Randy. In her first Instagram post after visiting Universal Studios with her family, Tori highlighted Randy's Instagram account and mentioned that his two daughters joined them in the photo. Fans were thrilled to see Tori and Randy spending time together and responded with supportive and kind comments. It's clear that the Spelling family is working on mending relationships, even if it took years to do so. Amidst cheating scandals, the death of her father and her inheritance, Tori faced bankruptcy. Tori faces bankruptcy. By 2016, it was clear that Tori and Dean were struggling financially. Their extravagant lifestyle has finally caught up with them, leading to multiple lawsuits for unpaid debts and loan defaults. American Express and City National Bank took legal action against the couple that year. Apparently, Tori and Dean had failed to repay $400,000 in bank loans. It was also reported that they were owing $887,500 on their American Express card. Tori has openly admitted to struggling with managing money, and the sheer amount of debt they faced was alarming. Despite their significant financial troubles in 2016, Tori and Dean managed to rekindle their relationship. After overcoming the fallout from Dean's scandal, they appeared to be falling in love again. In interviews, they spoke glowingly about each other. Tori told Entertainment Tonight that they had revitalized their relationship. She said that they are aiming for a fresh start and a positive future, rather than a complete reset. Dean echoed this sentiment in the same interview, stating that their relationship was at its best. Fans were pleased to see Tori's happiness and the couple's renewed connection. After a challenging period in their marriage, Tori and Dean discovered they were expecting their sixth child. The birth of Bo Dean in 2017 held special significance for them, marking a fresh start in their relationship. Tori shared with people that Bo represented a new chapter in their marriage and was a symbol of their renewed bond. Despite deciding not to have more children in the future, they were thrilled to welcome their new baby. Tori described Bo as the cornerstone of their relationship's revival. She claimed that he was the first child they were raising with clear communication and understanding. Did they eventually have a happy ending? Keep watching to know more. Tori and Charlie finally call it quit. Despite the breakthrough in their marriage in 2017, Tori Spelling and Dean McDermott's marriage was still in turbulence. Fans were not much surprised when they officially announced their divorce in June 2023. Dean was spotted moving his belongings into storage, and Tori was seen leaving a hotel with her five children. This public split seemed to reflect the ongoing difficulties in their relationship. Although fans were not surprised when the couple announced their divorce, they were surprised at how they amicably handled the divorce. This is because Tori and Dean have a history of public arguments and conflicts. Tori Spelling and Dean McDermott's recent divorce announcement reveals their commitment to professionalism. Sources close to the couple suggest that they are striving to maintain a cordial relationship for the benefit of their children. Dean shared the news of their split on Instagram, though the post has since been removed. He emphasized that they will continue to work together as loving parents, supporting and caring for their kids through this challenging time. While the breakup of a high-profile couple is always disheartening, it appears that Tori and Dean are choosing to handle their separation with respect and cooperation recognizing that this approach is best for their family. On March 29, 2024, Tori officially filed for divorce from Dean, citing irreconcilable differences and asking for sole physical and joint legal custody of their five children with visitation rights for Dean. A return to Beverly Hills. Reboots have become a regular part of TV programming, so the 2019 revival of Beverly Hills 90210 was no surprise. Tori Spelling, along with several of her former co-stars, signed on to Beverly Hills 90210, which was a fresh take on the original series. However, this was not a typical reboot. Instead of simply recreating the old show, Beverly Hills 90210 was a meta-series. It featured the original cast members portraying fictionalized versions of themselves as they attempted to relaunch Beverly Hills 90210. The show explored the behind-the-scenes process of bringing back the beloved 90s series and the interactions between the cast members, blending reality with fiction. While this innovative concept intrigued some viewers, others found the meta-nature of the show a bit too self-referential. The approach was unique, but it only lasted one season before being cancelled. Despite the buzz and the nostalgic appeal, BH90210 did not continue beyond its initial run. 
So, where is Tory Spelling today? Let's find out. From mansion to motel. Whenever news about Tory Spelling and Dean McDermott resurfaces, so do concerns about Tory's financial situation. Following Dean's ambiguous divorce announcement, Tori and her five children were spotted staying at $100 per night hotels and RV parks. This led fans to question her financial stability. However, in May 2023, Tori shared with her fans that her family had to leave their Los Angeles rental home due to a severe mold infestation discovered inside the walls. Tori explained that her family had been experiencing ongoing health issues for years, which she believed were linked to the mold problem. She posted about the situation on Instagram, even seeking recommendations for attorneys, hinting at a possible lawsuit against the landlord. But it looks like Tori seems unable to afford a new, more private residence. There have been unverified reports that Tori's mother, Candy Spelling, may have declined to help her daughter financially this time. Other reports say that she offered to help, but Tori declined. Despite her relationship with her daughter, Candy didn't let it affect her relationship with her grandchildren. She allegedly established a $10 million trust fund for Tori's eldest child. According to her, she wants her grandson to know that she was part of their lives. Tori also declined the help of a friend and million-dollar listing star, Josh Flagg. Whether Tori will receive support or manage on her own remains unclear. Tori also faced criticism for how her decision to stay in motels and mobile homes might affect her children. She defended herself, saying that she is committed to the well-being of her children. Her friend Joy Camasta shared insight on Tori's decision, saying she is teaching her children resilience. Tori Spelling has lived much of her life in the public eye, facing both triumphs and heartaches along the way. Despite numerous challenges, she continues to inspire her fans as a strong and resilient figure. From her childhood at the Manor, to her career in reality TV, Tori has remained a prominent figure in Hollywood. Though her personal life has had its ups and downs, her success as an entrepreneur and her ongoing work with QVC, MTV, and other media platforms showcase her enduring presence. As she moves into new phases of her career, Tori's ability to succeed and captivate remains evident. So do you think Tori deserves the inheritance she got? What aspect of Tori's life and decision surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the next video shown on your screen to catch up on your favorite celebrity stories. See you there.